Iroquois and Algonquin for fourth graders. There was a lot of tension between the two tribes over land. This means that they were enemies. In 1642, the Iroquois attacked the Algonquins in the winter. So as you can see, these two tribes did not have a good relationship at all. These two tribes spoke different languages. The Algonquin spoke an Algonquin language, which was a musical language that had complicated verbs. For example, the word miigwech means thank you in Algonquin. The Iroquois spoke six different languages. These languages include Mohawk, Seneca, Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Tuscarora. Important Iroquois men learned the language of Mohawk because it was the language most commonly used at the Great Council and at Iroquois religious festivals. The Iroquois and Algonquin had very two different types of shelter. The Algonquins lived in wigwams, which were dome-shaped birch bark houses made for a single family unit. Wigwams were temporary, so they could move easily. There was a hole at the top to let smoke from fires out. The Iroquois lived in longhouses. Longhouses were large wood frame buildings covered with sheets of elm bark. They were up to 100 feet long and housed as many as 60 people, which was considered a clan. Everyone lived close together in a village. One village consisted of about 100 longhouses. Algonquin women wore long dresses with removable sleeves, while men wore preach clothes, which was animal fur, and leggings. Both genders wore moccasins. Clothing was mostly made out of mammal, bird, and fish skins. They were tanned through a smoking process and then stretched to make softer, more usable leather. Women made the clothing for themselves and their family. They decorated with feathers, shells, paints, and porcupine quills. Iroquois women wore wraparound skirts with short leggings and sometimes a special beaded tiara. Men also wore breech clothes with long leggings. They adopted European costume like long cloth shirts with fancy beadwork. Iroquois made their clothing from soft deer skin. Both genders wore moccasins as well. Women often kept their hair long while men wore their hair in a mohawk. The Algonquins were big hunters. They hunted deer, moose, bear, and fish. Some grew corn and squash, but most got crops from trading with neighboring tribes. They gathered berries and wild plants to eat. The Iroquois were big farmers. Women and children did most of the gathering, while men hunted and fished. Herbs and maple syrup were collected for medicine and flavoring. Iroquois dishes included cornbread, soups, and stews. The Iroquois often gathered corns, beans, and squash, also berries and nuts. The Algonquins lived north of the Iroquois. They lived in parts of Canada like southern Quebec and eastern Ontario. They migrated from the Atlantic coast and had short summers and long winters. The Iroquois lived in the northeastern woodlands of New York State. Many Iroquois still live in New York today or across Canada's border. They lived on the east coast of the U.S. Some Iroquois were forced to move west to Wisconsin or Oklahoma, and some of their relatives still live there today.
They lived near lakes and small rivers because it was good for farming. Religion was very different for these two tribes. The Algonquins believed in a spirit or an animating force called Kichimanitu or the Great Spirit. They also believed in an evil spirit called Windigo. The Iroquois had a religion that was centered around a great spirit who was believed to be their creator. They communicated to the great spirit by burning tobacco, which carried their prayers. They believed in an afterlife where they would join the great spirit. These two tribes had many similarities, but many differences as well.